giant Buddha statues carved on the mountain more than 1,500 years ago, exquisite Buddha statues in the caves, and many small caves with Buddha statues carved inside. This is the Yungang Grottoes located in Shanxi Province, China. How was the art of Buddhist sculptures introduced to China? Who carved these Buddha statues? This is the story of this ancient site. Da Tong, an ancient yet modern city in Shanxi Province, China, was once the capital of the Bei Wei Dynasty more than 1,600 years ago. The Bei Wei Dynasty was a regime established by nomadic Xianbei people in 386 AD and unified northern China in 439 AD. Literally, Bei Wei means Northern Wei. There were several regimes named Wei in Chinese history. Since this regime was located in northern China, it was called the Northern Wei. Around 460 AD, the fifth emperor of the Northern Wei dynasty ordered five giant Buddha statues to be carved on a mountain about 20 kilometers away from the capital to symbolize the five emperors of the Northern Wei dynasty and to demonstrate his devotion to Buddhism. A Buddhist monk named Tan Yao was in charge of the project. A few years later, five tall Buddha statues appeared on this mountain. The huge Buddha statue behind me is the most famous and iconic statue of Yungang Grottoes. Many believe it symbolizes Tuo Ba Gui, the founding emperor of the Bei Wei dynasty. This Buddha statue is about 14 meters tall. Unlike the other four Buddha statues, it is the only one here sitting outdoors. In fact, originally, this Buddha statue was also located indoors, but later the wall collapsed and the Buddha statue was exposed. We can see that there is a standing Buddha statue on one side of the Buddha, but not on the other side. In the 1990s, archaeologists discovered a broken Buddha statue underground in front of this giant statue, and this is the missing standing Buddha statue. At the same time, they also found traces of paint on it, which shows That the Buddha statues were originally colored. Archaeologists speculate that the collapse of the cave wall occurred shortly after the completion of the Buddha statues, and the collapse of the wall also caused the collapse of a standing Buddha statue. These Buddha statues are all over 13 meters tall. And they are all located in caves. These caves have doors at the bottom, windows at the top, and dome-shaped roofs inside. This cave style was puzzling at first, until archaeologists discovered a burial object in a Northern Wei Dynasty tomb. This is a tent model. There is reason to believe. That when the Xianbei people lived on the grasslands as nomads, this kind of tent was their house. It is likely that they chose this cave style to pay tribute to their ancestors when building the grottoes. At the same time, these Buddha statues have a strong Greek style, from facial expressions to clothing. Why is that? Buddhism, as we know it, originated in ancient India around the sixth century BC. The Buddha was against idol worship. Therefore, when Buddhism was born, there were no statues of the Buddha. There were only pagodas, footprints, and other symbols to represent the Buddha.
In the fourth century BC, Alexander the Great came to the Gandhara region, roughly today's northeastern Pakistan and eastern Afghanistan. Along with colonization, they brought the sculpture art of ancient Greece. Later, as Buddhism flourished in this region, Gandhara-style Buddha art emerged. When this art spread eastward to China via the Silk Road, grotto digging and Buddhist statue carving first appeared in northwest China. The Yungang grottoes were created under this background. Because this project received the support of the royal family, it was very large in scale and mobilized a lot of labor. This region is very windy. And many of the statues have weathered over the past 1,500 years. These statues have also been vandalized and stolen throughout history. In 471 A.D., Tuo Ba Hong ascended the throne. The Northern Wei Dynasty entered an important era, and the construction of Yungang grottoes continued. The new policies he implemented and the political situation at the time were also reflected in these Buddha statues, and that is what we will see in the next episode.